Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Zagiti, aka Black Girl Scientist. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about HPCSA registration, everything that you need to know about it. My last video was speaking about, you know, the different kind of careers as well as starting salaries that you can go to. And that actually, you know, evoked a lot of discussion about this HPCSA registration. I know it's a requirement for a lot of companies um, and a lot of jobs that you may prospectively, you know, be looking at. HPCSA registration uh, is um, compulsory for some, not so compulsory for some, but it's definitely listed in a lot of the jobs that you see. So that is everything that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So if you're interested in this video, keep watching. Said today i'm going to be talking everything hpcsa what is it why do you need it why do you need to be registered with the hpcsa but before i get into the video i just wanted to say um i was looking at my analytics for my last video and actually 50 percent of people that watched my last video are not subscribed to my channel so if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It's free. All you need to do is have an email address, sign into YouTube, and you can subscribe to my channel. We're so close to 1,000 subscribers. As I said in my previous video, I'm going to be doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway, which is going to include a cash prize as well as a sponsored beauty hamper. So we're so close. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and thank you for everyone who's already subscribed and has been supporting me so let's get into today's video HPC, hpcsa registration first let's start with what is the hpcsa so the hpcsa is actually the health professional health professionals council of south africa it's a statutory body that was in, uh, established in terms of section 201 uh, of the health professions so a statutory body is basically an organization, you know, that is set up by law and has the authority to check activities of a business or a particular company. So that's what the HPCSA um, is. It stands for the Health Professionals Councils of South Africa. That's what it is. So the HPCSA, together with 12 professional boards, was established to provide control over education, training, and registration for practicing health professions registered under the Health Professions Act. So as you can gather already from what I've said, the HPCSA is really, you know, a statutory body you know it was established based on the particular laws that we have in this country so it was established in order to protect um public and guide professions um counsel to ensure that practitioners uphold and maintain professional and ethical standards within the health professions and ensure that the investigation of complaints concerning practitioners and ensure that disciplinary action is taken against persons who fail to act accordingly so the vision of the hpcsa is to provide quality and equitable health care for all that's a little bit about a background about what the hpca is and what they stand for what their main vision is as well so all of this information or most of the information that i'm going to be sharing with you today is available on their website the hpcsa website so if you want more information please go ahead and visit that website i'll also link it down below and you can get all the information literally all of the information that you need is available on the HPCSA website. So let's go into, you know, a lot of, you know, the discussion that was kind of created um, among, you know, you, when you're looking for a job and what is this HPCSA registration? Why do we need it? Why is it, you know, some degrees you kind, it kind of comes a, a part of the degree? Why is it some degrees that you have to register yourself? And also the most important underlying looming question is that why do employers want you to have this HPCSA re, um, registration? So the reason for that is that it's a prerequisite for professional practice. So it's basically, like I said, and I have explained earlier in this video, everything that the HPCA is and what it stands for. If you're a health professional, you have to be registered with the HPCSA. There's really no two ways about it. It is compulsory. 
so how do you go about registering with this board how do you go about getting obtaining hpca registration so there are nine main registration categories in the hpcsa um, registration firstly as a student an internship a student intern whether you're in public service or community service supervised practice independent practice private practice specialized practice and sub-specialized um practice as well so those are the main categories i know a lot of people that are watching this you're probably a student um maybe you're going to go into an internship or you're a student intern and you you qualify to register for the hpcsa okay and um, this is something that you can go about doing yourself on the website like i said i promise you all the information is available on the website i'm just doing this video just to really talk about the hpsa uh, hpcsa what it is why do you need it why do employers want it and how you can go about registering so i'm going to get into that as well so there is temporary or restricted re um, registration and that's in education as a postgraduate student or as an or as a volunteer so as a student which is probably um the main audience that's watching this you can go on to the hpcsa website under registration select your category select your degree as well and you can register as a student so this is temporary registration of course because you're not always going to be a student so once you've graduated and you become you know a doctor or you know any other health professional or a scientist then your registration will change so that's why it's temporary because you're not going to remain a student forever so there are different categories of registration as well they literally so many like so many so i'm going to read a few and that's dietetic, dietetics and nutrition emergency care environmental health medical and dental as well as medical science uh, medical technology occupational therapy prosthetic and arts therapy optometry physiotherapy podiatry psychology um speech and language hearing dental assistance dental therapy oral hygiene all of these categories are available on the site so that's just a few of them okay that's that's just a few of them so applications like i said how do you go ab um about applying to be uh, part of the hpcsa and how do you register register and all of that applications are available on the website you just go and find your category and you will find all the relevant um, documentation that you need to register so now let's talk about the fees that are involved with HPCA registration as with anything that you register for a board there's going to be an annual fee that you pay so for registration as a student medical scientist it's 400 rand okay and then i just put here the 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 fee for a medical practitioner and that would be a doctor in practice their registration is 2860 rand and then the annual fee so the fee that you pay per year as a medical lab scientist would be 1610 and as a medical technologist is 710 rand so that's just some examples that i was you know putting there for you guys to see basically how much you need to pay so obtaining hpcsa registration like i said you apply online if you're having difficulty please contact them their contact details are online and you can contact them or the relevant body in your institution i know there are signatures that are involved that you need to get signatures maybe from the dean or from the head of your department so literally that is hpcsa registration it is simple all the information you need is available on the hpcsa site so if that brings me to the end of the video if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe please 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 subscribe click the notification bell so you're also notified when i upload a new video i'll see you guys on the next video bye